Our story today is again about God's mighty preacher, Paul. Now, today's story is a little bit long, and so I'm teaching for the children who can't read. So those of you who can read, you can find the story in Acts chapters 21, 22, and 23, and you can read there and see the rest of the story. In the meantime, we're going to see what else Paul got into this time. Remember when he was in Philippi, he was put in jail, and remember when he was in Troas, the Eutychus fell out of the building, and Paul had to raise him back alive again? Well, today, Paul is back in Jerusalem, but the people in Jerusalem are not happy with Paul because they think that he's teaching things and doing things that are breaking their laws. And in fact, they got so mad at him for some of the things they were doing that they were trying to beat up on him. But they got so noisy and so mean that the commander of the soldiers came with his soldiers to, and they rescued Paul so that the people could not beat him up anymore. And the commander put chains on Paul because he arrested him because he thought he had done something wrong. So then the commander was going to take Paul back to the prison. But Paul asked if he could please speak to the people again. And so he did. But the people got so mad at Paul again that they started beating up on him again. And so the commander had to send in the soldiers to rescue Paul again. This time they took Paul to prison. And while they were in he was in prison, the commander was going to have Paul beaten because he was just sure if the people were beating him up that Paul must have done something bad. And so he was going to beat him to make him tell what he did. Well, there was a rule and a law that if somebody was a Roman citizen, they could not be beaten if you did not know what they did wrong. Although Paul was a Jew, he was also a Roman citizen. And so when they tied him up to start to beat him, he asked the soldiers, are you sure you can beat me since I'm a Roman citizen? Well, the soldier in charge was so surprised, he talked to the commander to tell him, do you know that he's a Roman citizen? Oh, that scared the Roman, the commander because he was not supposed to beat Paul since he was a Roman citizen. So they did not beat Paul. The next day, the commander wanted to take Paul to talk to the leaders again and to find out why they were so mad at him. Paul was talking about Jesus and talking about coming back alive after being dead. And some of those people believed that happened, but some of those people did not. And they got in such a fight that the soldiers had to come and rescue Paul again. And they took him back to the prison again. That night, as Paul was in prison, he wasn't chained because he was a Roman, he was not allowed to be chained since they did not know he did what he did wrong. That night, Jesus came to him and he said to him, Paul, don't be sad and don't be worried because just like you spoke to people in Jerusalem, you have to go to Rome and tell the people in the city of Rome about me too. The next day, there were some people who hated Paul so bad that they decided they were not going to eat or drink anything until Paul was killed. And they told the leaders about that, that they had made this promise that they were not going to eat and drink anything. But what they didn't know was that Paul's nephew was there and he was listening to what they were saying. So, while Paul was in prison, his nephew went to tell Paul what he had heard. 
He said, Paul, they're going to kill it. They want to kill you. They're going to trick the commander and have him come and, and get you and, and bring you there. But in the meantime, on your way there, they're going to kill you. So Paul called the soldier over, and the soldier came and got the nephew and took him to see the commander. So the soldier took Paul's nephew, and he went to see the commander so that he could tell the commander what he had heard. Well, the commander had Paul's nephew come over where nobody else could hear what he had to say. And he said, the people are going are gonna to try to trick you, and they're going to ask you to bring Paul over and talk up to him some more. But in the meantime, they're going to surprise him, and they're going to kill him on the way there. The commander said, okay, do not tell anybody that. And so he left. And the commander told the soldiers, okay, I want you to get... 200 people who carry spears and 200 people, soldiers, who are just foot soldiers and 40 soldiers who ride horses. And I want you to sneak Paul out of the city tonight and so he can go safely to another city. And so that night, that's what they did. The soldiers left Jerusalem with 200 walking and 200 with spears. They were all leaving at night and with 40 on horses. And they all were with Paul that night to get him to another city away from the people who wanted to kill him. And that's what they did. <laughs> so, the soldiers got Paul to the governor named Felix. And the commander had written Felix a letter to tell him what was going on with Paul. And so when Paul came before Felix, he was talking to Felix, and he told him about Jesus. Now, Felix liked to listen to Paul, but he did not want to believe in Jesus. But he liked to talk to Paul, so although Paul was there for about two years, he wasn't kept in chains, and his friends were allowed to come and take care of him. But even though Felix listened to Paul talk to him about Jesus, the Bible does not tell us that Felix, Felix ever believed in Jesus. Wouldn't that be so sad if he could hear about Jesus and not believe in him and not obey him.